else that may be watching. My name is Miranda and I'm an animal activist and artist. And for the past two years at Camp Ways I've taught you guys how to draw your favorite animals at the shelter. But today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to sculpt some animals. We're gonna be making cats, dogs, frogs, and bears. Today, you can choose whatever one you wanna do or if you wanna do something different, that's awesome too. I would love to see it. All you're gonna to need to do this is your air dry clay, some sort of mat so you don't get super, super messy, a paintbrush, and these five paints, which is red, yellow, black, white, and blue, which top secret, this is an artist secret only, um, these are the only five colors you would ever need to make any color you want to make, and we're gonna go over that today. And, oh, almost forgot, a cup of water. You'll need this as well. I decided on pinch pots this year because pinch pots are a really, really fun thing to make, really easy, and you can make a ton of them with the amount of clay that has been given to you guys. First, you're gonna wanna take about a fist-sized ball of clay and roll it up. Here we go. Just wanna roll it until it's pretty smooth. Roll it on here. And you can always have help from an adult if you guys need to. And anytime you feel like your clay is starting to get dry, just dip your hands in the water and wet down your clay a little bit. So once you have it into a ball, you're going to want to take your thumb and press your thumb into the middle of the ball, like so. All right, and this is the part where you're gonna to wanna to get a little bit of water on your index finger and your thumb, and you're gonna take it like this and pinch it on both sides. Just gently pinch it all the way around and you'll start to see a bowl form. You want to make sure you go gently and make sure that one side isn't way thicker than the other side because that'll take a really long time to dry that way. And I know that, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I'm a little bit impatient with stuff like this. So I want it to dry as fast as possible. And there's a ton more animals you guys can make with pinch pots. You can make a snail, you can do a turtle, you can do whatever you want. I have um, a couple reptiles at home, so I think I'm going to try to make um, a pinch pot of them. Sometimes you think it'd be really cute. And it's okay if you have to try this multiple times. Um, it took me about seven tries um, the first time that I did a pinch pot to really get it the way that I wanted it. So do it as many times as you need to do it until you get a shape that's kind of like this. All right, and then press down the bottom just a little bit so that it gets flat on the underside so that it will stand up on its own. So now this is the part where you get to be a little bit creative. If you want to make a cat, you're going to want to take your clay in a little bit, roll it into a ball, and then press it down with your thumb, like so. Peel it off your mat, press it down, and then take the top of it, pinch it together to make a triangle shape. Fold these down, and then you're gonna wanna stick it to the outside of your pinch pot. And you can use a little bit of water to glue all the edges together. Okay, and then you do the exact same thing to the other side. And you make another ear, and then you have a kitty cat pinch pot. Simple as that. Now suppose you want to make a doggy. You're going to want to do the exact same thing as you did before making the pot. Make sure it doesn't fall apart or dry out. And then for the dog, I noticed that when I did it, I made the dog ears a little bit heavy, so you might want to do it with a little bit less clay um, than you kind of see on my example. But you take the, the what's going to be the ear, and flatten it into a sort of a circle, and then pinch the edge so it looks like a little dog ear, and then again, stick it to the side of the pot. You can also, again, glue that on there with a little bit of water. Now suppose you wanted to do a froggy or a bear. So the secret is the frog and the bear are the same shape, same way you make it, you just paint it differently to look like a different animal. But if you wanted to do a bear or a frog, again, you're gonna roll your little ball, press it with your thumb, until you get a sort of circle, and then just stick the circle to the outside of the pot. So easy! It's done! And it's gonna look so awesome, and you get to keep these things forever, which is super, super cool. Now, so your pinch pot should take about 24 hours, 48 hours to dry, which is about one or two days. So give this to a parent, let them put it to the side for a few days, and then return back to it. Make sure you put it in a safe spot, because I did accidentally break mine, that's no fun. So make sure you put it somewhere safe. Now, when it comes time to paint it, you're going to take your colors and you can be as creative as you want. I want you to paint however you want to paint it, but I am going to show you how to mix the colors today. So you want to take your little tin or whatever you want to use. So 
So these red, yellow, and blue are called primary colors because they are the colors that make every other color in the world. Um, you cannot mix anything to get these colors. They are just all on their own. So if you need red, yellow, or blue, you're already set, you got them. But suppose you wanted to make it orange. So for orange, you're going to want to take some yellow and some red, and you want to mix those up really nice, and it's going to give you a really pretty orange color. And you can adjust it depending on how dark or how light you want it to be. And if you want more of a cream colored orange, maybe you're doing like a buff tabby cat or something like that, add a little bit of white and you can make it even prettier. Now you never really want to add black to any of these colors, but you can use black on its own. So for now, we're pretty much just going to be focusing on the primaries and then white. If you wanted to make pink, you're going to take your red paint and your white paint and mix that really, really well and you get a beautiful pink color. Now suppose you wanted to make purple. So for purple, you're going to take red and blue and mix those. And purples are a really, really fun color because there's so much variance in there. Add a little bit more blue, add a little bit more red, and you're going to get totally different shades of purple. It's a lot of fun. If you add the white to it, you're going to get a beautiful lavender. Be as creative as you want to. Suppose you're doing one of the froggies. You're going to take yellow and blue and mix those really, really nice. Now the last color we're going to learn about how to make today is brown. And even I struggle with brown sometimes, it's a hard color to make. Um, but you're going to mix all of the primary colors together. So red, yellow, and blue together to make brown. Now if you're going to do brown, I would highly suggest you make quite a bit of it when you're going. That way you don't have to continue to remix the brown. It's really hard to remix the exact same shade of brown you had once before. After the one or two days is up, you are welcome to start painting your pinch pot. So I made the face on the inside of the pinch pot. That way when it's looking up at you, when you put your rings in there, or whatever else you want to put in there, it's smiling right up at you. Um, and a little pro tip for you is put a little bit of white paint in the eye to make it glimmer and shine. You can also put it on the nose too. And if you wanted to get really fancy, you could add little red cheeks. How precious. Pinch pots make awesome gifts for your family, or you can keep it all for yourself, whatever you'd like to do. But I really, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I hope to see you guys again soon. I'm really missing you this summer. I can't wait to see you next summer. Um, have a great year. Have a great summer. Have a great quarantine. Whatever you're doing, be safe, be healthy, and continue to love animals the way that you do.